Everywhere I go in this city, I feel something special. This is Melbourne, Australia, where my family's from. I've been lucky to visit many times since I was little. The rest of the time, Melbourne is far away, but it always feels close. When I'm here, I sense that closeness. Close to the beach, rainforest, and mountains. Completely different landscapes, all under an hour away. I feel connected to nature because it's right there. Whether you're just outside the city or right in the middle of it. For me, green space brings a city to life. And Melbourne breathes through its trees. There's a mix of trees throughout much of the city that makes each street a place I want to explore. I love walking around because it's built on a human scale. What would be an unassuming alley becomes a laneway lined with cafes, restaurants, and shops. Walkability brings us closer to each other. Melbourne for me is defined by its variety. Even the weather is like this, with four seasons in one day. I always feel that so many different things are right next to each other. The architecture combines old and new, showing that the past is never far from the present. It feels that way for me too, my past entangled with Melbourne. Visiting every few years, in a way I've grown up with this place, but in slices of life, memories I hold close to my heart. If you add them all up, I've spent over a year of my life here, and I've always loved it. But now, I also understand how fortunate I was as a kid, able to view this city with such rosy glasses. Part of loving a place is knowing its faults. It's been four years since I last visited, and I was afraid the magic would be gone. Can you truly lose a feeling? And if you do, can you find it again? I felt the character of this city through small businesses like this forested cafe. They bring people close to each other and community takes root. And I was worried this character would be lost after the last few years. But returning here, I found a city of resilience. The cafe and its cockatoos still there. The spirit of Melburnians as alive as ever. I hadn't lost the closeness at all. After all these years, after how much I've changed, I still feel the same way. This city, no matter how far away, will always be home.